You only date white guys. Everybody count is over five. You have a bad relationship with your family. Ever had a company reach out to you about a uh, collaboration? I've had. Yeah. Never had to watch the bloody fall. You in the depths that ain't no man for. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. So, okay, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Um, I know it's been two and a half weeks, something like that. I kind of went insane. Not even gonna lie to you guys. Not even gonna lie. I went insane. I kind of just trapped myself in my room and I looked like my eyes are watering. <laughs> I look like a hot mess for the last two and a half weeks. I'm so sorry that I haven't filmed since my last video with Holly, which if you haven't seen, I'll put it up in the information box. But I'm back. I just needed to rejuvenate, to reset, to rekindle my passion for YouTube because I just didn't feel like being on the internet. I put my wig on today, I put a little bit of makeup on today and we are doing the quick fire assumption which is going around YouTube, well the British side of YouTube. Um, Byron started this, so shout out to Byron, check out his channel, it'll be linked down below and a bunch of other YouTubers have been doing this video as well so I just decided I'm a baby YouTuber, no one knows who I am so I know that um, my questions aren't that intense but then the questions that I've gotten, I've gotten a lot within the last two, three years that I've been doing YouTube. Two, three years, madness. But yeah, so my sister is here. Say hello, Jamika. Hello. Hi. What's up? Basically, how this challenge works is you ask your followers, whatever, friends, on Instagram or whatever social media platform you use to ask you some questions and you have to answer them within 10 minutes. So I'm going to put on a timer for 10 minutes, my sister's going to be asking me these questions and for the next 10 minutes of this video, it's going to be unedited. So you're really gonna get to know me now. <laughs> you're really gonna get to know me because I don't, I cut out a lot. I cut out all my stutters because I stutter like I've got a problem. It's really not good, it's really not good, guys. Um, and I do that a lot and I really can't help it. Oh my God, okay. And if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know who I am, hey, my name's Jasiara. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you think you can tolerate me, but give it till the end of the video. You can wait a little bit. Like, I'm not forcing you, but 50% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, but you can just still continue to watch me, but that's okay. Anyway, we're gonna start with this video and I'm scared now because the next 10 minutes are gonna be unedited and I'm a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Right. All right, we're gonna start the timer. So the video is going to be unedited from here. Oh my god. Okay, the first assumption is you lie about what area of London you're from to save embarrassment. Do you know what? I think this is a bit rude. <laughs> um, I'm from East London. I've been saying it since the start of my channel. I was like, hey guys, it's Miss Maria. Welcome to my channel. I'm from East London. <laughs> I'm from East London. Now I don't say it because I don't want to bail my area. I'm not telling you guys what specific area in from East London that I'm from, but I'm from East London. And whenever I tell people that, especially like when I was in college, I told people from East London and a lot of the roadmen were like, we're from East, East, East. Like it's all about South or North. No, it's not, I don't really care. At least I'm from the chill bit. Like East is not hyped up and I'm okay with that. So. Second question. You don't have many friends. Yes. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, over the last couple of what, five years of my life, my friendship group has kind of went to nothing. Not to say I don't have any friends. I do have friends who I absolutely adore, especially moving to Manchester. I've gotten so many new friends who I absolutely love and I can see them being in my life for the for the rest of my life. But um, I don't have many friends. I want to make some new friends, but it's a bit difficult because you don't know who you can trust. But um, yeah, I don't have many friends. Three, you lied about going on on that date with that famous guy. No, every, after that video came out, everyone's like, all right, so who is he? All right, so give him his app, give me his app. Guys, right. I told, this is really, I really, ah! um, the guy isn't famous. He's not famous. Like if I told you his name, you're not gonna be like, oh my God, Will Smith. Oh my God, Jesus Smith. No, he's just a well-known guy in the real estate, housing business side of things yeah ah, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, i hate this video being unedited i'm gonna sneeze okay yeah so no i didn't lie about him i just cannot give out his information because um when that video came out he messaged me and he told me that if i do give his information he will sue me and i have no money because i'm a student yeah you only date white guys right no <laughs> 
I've been getting this video from since I was born, literally because I have dated what, like two? Yeah. I don't. Oh, on that side of my right, my mum's side of my family tend to date white guys or just guys of Caucasian um, heritage. So my auntie um, has a husband who's Italian and um, vice versa. That's just how it's been. I have a white boyfriend. He's from Manchester. But no, I don't only date white guys. I date who I'm interested in, who I'm attracted to. Gosh. Um, you've never dated a black guy? No, I have. I haven't I haven't had a serious boyfriend who was black because of a lot of complications that came with that, but I have dated black people before. Five, your body count is over five. No, my body count is three. Yikes. Six, you think you're famous on social media? Right. My sister's face is right, oh my gosh. Um, I don't think I'm famous on social media. I know my status, I know my status. I know where I'm at, I'm, in, I'm okay with where I'm at. Um, I don't wanna be any bigger or any smaller than I am now. I think I'm at a good rate and I'm growing at a good rate. So that's, that's that, isn't it? Um, seven, you've been cheated on or have cheated. Never cheated, I'm not about that life, but I have been cheated on, Mike's cheated on me. Yikes. Yeah, you've got more than five digits, digits in your bank account. I wish. I've got four digits in my bank account. It's soon going to go to three because I have to purchase a lot of new things when I move into my new house. I'm scared. You wanted to do change. Wait. <laughs> you wanted to do, What is this? What? It says you want to do change. <laughs> oh, I wanted to change my course. Um, or leave uni. I, yeah, um, I was considering leaving uni within like the first month of being in Manchester only because I just wasn't comfortable. I was scared of being in a new city by myself, but that's not true now. I love my course and I'm going into second year. I'm scared, but no, I didn't want to leave uni. You have a bad relationship with your family. No, I know, no, I can't believe the person that told me this. No, my, my relationship with my family is actually really good. Um, they have been, they have had my back for 18 years of my life now. Um, no, I love my family. They are my best friends. How long have you been with your boyfriend? I've been with, basically I've been with him since September. A lot of people have been asking me this question. So September to now, basically, um, is how long I've been with him. You're not comfortable sharing all aspects of your life online? No. I don't like give him a private information, like family and stuff. I just, I'm not, I'm very like, you guys will get to know, I'm a bit, I'm shy. I am very shy. I don't like exposing myself like that, but I am an open book. If you ask me something, I'll most likely answer it, honestly, but I don't like to be like, hey guys, this is my mum's maiden name and this is where my mum lives and this is where I was born. No, I'm not about that life. 13, you don't want to be a stylist anymore. My friend asked me the question. Um. With my course, I've been discovering different routes of fashion and I've always wanted to own my own business. I have a business, I'm just rebranding it at the moment. But I do want to be a stylist, I just want to do more. Like I, I want to be able to do as many things as I possibly can. I don't want to tie myself down to one thing yet. You're bored of YouTube because you see no growth. I was bored of YouTube at one point, a couple months ago actually. Um, before I done my university series, I was like, you know, I was like, ah, I don't see this going anywhere. I just see this for fun. But after that, people have been coming to me like, I love your videos. You know, you want, you made me want to move to Manchester. You made me want to do your course. And it's just, it really warms my heart. So no, I love YouTube, love it. What uni accommodation did you stay at? I stayed at Wormslow Park IQ Students. A lot of people ask me this. I didn't want to tell you because I was living there. So you guys don't just show off my door, you know? But I was living at Wormslow Park IQ Students. I paid 152 pounds a week. It's not worth it. <laughs> Do you prefer Manchester or London? I prefer Manchester over London. Sorry guys. I love my Londoners. I am a true Londoner with the accent and everything. But I've just grown to love Manchester. I've grown from I've grown to appreciate Manchester as my second home. I have the majority of my friends in Manchester. Um yes, yeah, so I prefer it to London. Just a little bit. You're moving to Manchester after uni? Hmm. This was a conversation I was discussing with my stepmom actually. Um maybe, maybe not. I'm 
only 18, I'm gonna be 19 in a few months, so I don't know. We'll see when we get to that hurdle. You seem like the person who is easy to talk to or get along with. I'd like to think that. Am I easy to talk to? Yeah. Like, if my friends come to me with their problems, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna just come to me. Literally, like, I, I like to think that I'm easy to talk to. I'm not, I mean, I've been told that I'm intimidating. I've been told that when people first make me, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Good, but that's just my face, please. That's just my face. I really <laughs> genuinely, I can't help it. I was born with this face. Since I was young, if you guys see pictures of me as a baby, oh my God. I look like a road man. It's really sad. <laughs> Ever had a company reach out to you about a uh, collaboration? I've had the BBC contact me. What happened with that? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people asked <laughs> Um, I got back to them too late when they were starting the show, mm -hmm. I know. So BBC contacted me, um, this show. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. I'll see if I can find a screenshot. But it was this reality show where you get a bunch of people to live in a house, guys and girls, and you just have to boost your social media platform doing these crazy things. Um, but I wasn't 18, I was 17. They were like, oops, you're not 18, <laughs> bye. Um, and I've just had a lot of small like clothing brands reach out to me and I'm like, I don't really like your clothes, I'm sorry. Like, even though I'm small, I wouldn't do it for no amount of money because I like my fashion. So you're not gonna get me to do it anytime soon. The last question, what brand would you like to get some things from? <sighs> so many brands, like, Please hit me up, like hit me up. Um, pre law thing, obvious, boohoo, Bershka. Mm, yeah. I've loved Bershka since day dot, since I was born, right? Um, Zara, um, um, a lot of small, just small independent brands. If you do nice clothes, if you got like nice streetwear, nice jewelry, wigs, hey, I'm, I'm bold headed, okay? I can try out your wigs if you need me to. That's what I'm there for. But anyone really, if I get a sponsorship or if I get, sent things the first item i get sent best believe i'm going to be documenting it but yeah is that it yeah how many minutes have we got left um 24 seconds 24 wow. seconds left is there anything you want to ask me in 24 seconds i don't even know any questions that you've always wanted to ask me um no <laughs> No? I had, I had so, I was prepared before you even recorded this. I was thinking, what, what questions Are you sure? Ask? Yeah, I actually don't know. Because you're not going to get to ask me any questions after this. But yeah, guys, so that was the video. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Why did I decide to wear a jumper and it's like 20 degrees outside? That was really something. Um, Half of the questions I got sent from you guys that follow me on Instagram, half was from Snapchat and then a lot of them were from my friends. Just being nosy little buggers but that was that was very interesting i really hope you guys got to know me a little bit more um hopefully some of my answers made sense i don't even know what i said i don't remember um but yeah but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and comment down below another question that you want to ask me i promise i'll answer no, actually no don't do that i'm scared <laughs> comment down below something fun something fresh give me some video ideas because i don't think i'm going to be filming any university videos you know to do with um what to pack and freshers week and anything like that anytime soon because we're in may and you guys go to the uni in september so i think i'm going to give it like a month or two and um, but until then just give me some fun videos to film yeah don't forget to subscribe if you think you can tolerate me and check out my recent videos they'll be on then slates in a few seconds and check out my university series if you're starting university in september from freshers week to moving and to advice that i give to you guys starting in september oh my god i can't believe i just done that okay guys i love you so much don't forget to stay happy stay safe stay inspired and i'll catch you in my next video bye bye